Chapter 1. Your hands, your hands. So welcome. And on um, behalf of all of us at the Bible Center, Jesus Christ, if I need to, I'd like to say big thank you to all of you for the wonderful donation. Uh, my name is Charles. I'm the director of affairs in the home care. Yeah. Forgive our tardiness, we're moving. Yeah. We have financial issues. We couldn't pay our rents here, so we've gone for cheaper accommodations. Moving to the ocean, moving down this path, moving to a new place, and that's why we are kind of um, okay. scattered and busy. Okay. Um, we run a series of um, services providing the children. Um, we have a local school, a rehabilitation center, a school that provides free education for the kids in the home and um, just to kids in our community. Yes, um, yes. We work with a lot of volunteers, people coming and going to power and work with the kids. Most of our teachers, about 70% of our teachers are volunteers. Um, wow. The rest are based, um, oh, God bless you. Wow. Your hands so together. Good. Wow. Yeah. Wow. God is good. Wow. That's so beautiful. So um, we used to have a permanent site, but due to land disputes, we lost the place. Uh oh. Since I moved here, we, we struggled of moving to a new place. We paid 8 million for the building to rent it for a year. And then with COVID, this did us bad. We kind of had to downsize. So we reduced the number of children we had from 200 to 30 now. We, yes, we reduced the number of staff we had. Since we was on break, we also sent home all um, academic staff uh, so that we can kind of recover and then we can be able to give back the services to our kids. So we believe that we necessarily don't need to close down all everything we're doing for our kids. Yes. But we downsize and slowly begin to build up again. We need to um, offer this service to as many children as we can. You are welcome to ask us questions if you want to, and I'll be very willing to answer. Okay, um, when you say rehabilitation, who do you rehabilitate? Like, okay, well, there are, there are various stages of rehabilitation, there are various um, situations people need rehabilitation. To. So, we have kids who have history of drug abuse, um, we have kids who have been molested and abused, the child is sexually. Um, uh, it takes a while for them to reintegrate and go back into the society. We have teenage mothers who became pregnant as a result of their abuse or uh, some other issues. Um, we also have um, kids, I'm not really, we don't even watch domestic violence, especially the women, because they don't have the facilities for the most women But we do take in kids from domestic violence. We are also taking them um, minor violent offenders, um, petty theft and um, some other things that need rehabilitation. Most of these kids, if not properly take care of end of the community, and even as in PJ prison, sorry, even as kids, there are a lot of them from theft, they are, they are arrested from the police station, they are taken straight to jail and there is nobody to Build watch out for those kids and they might, might have stolen something very small from a shop or something like that. Hmm. And so we rehabilitate those petty ones. Not aggravated as some of things like that. So, and these are the ones we can do rehabilitation. So, how do you get them? I want to know how you absorb them. 
Wow, thank you, Lord. Your hands so, 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 is awesome. So, so, so. Wow. Thank you. There was a young man who was home to the guys. Uh, there was a young lady also with dreads who was home. She's also one of our kids. She grew up here. She's been here since 2011. Wow. And she's in, I think, her third year in Kogi State University. Wow. So good. So good. So I'm so happy. Good. solicit for funds so up until last year soliciting for funds from for orphanage homes was illegal okay. orphanage homes really can't solicit for funds but they lifted the ban by december of last year and then covid did us this year so oh, so for funds have been kind of difficult and hard hmm. um, i will always say it's funding is a major part of running your home yes oh. it is for us when we are at, at mass capacity 200 kids we spent 55.9 million a year um, one bag of rice was one million Right now, at capacity we had 12, 12 indomitators in use for one week. Right now we are at 4 indomitators. Uh, so, funding is a major part because yes. we don't always get everything we need. We don't get minor things like Mali and Pepper and Okona and Ebusi. We don't just come up in with those things and so we have to buy those things. We try to make um, programs for ourselves, social entrepreneurial programs where we try to 
decided to lose fun to ourselves, which has been kind of our way of succeeding for a while. Um, but the situation is now also in the city, I think we are going to build our friends. So, where's your new place? So, it's at um, Tungamaji. I don't know if you know. Oh, oh. Wow. That's quite a distance. That's and that's then, so, we got our own land there. Oh, okay. And we're okay. starting okay. our own thing there. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Your hands yeah. together. Yeah. This is beautiful. Yeah. Are you happy? Yeah. Put your hands together. <laughs> Just, if, if you don't have questions, we just take pictures and then... Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes, yes. yes. Any other questions? Do you have any other questions, sisters? Let's not... Let's everybody. Okay, so... Let's go. Let's go.